Hi guys, welcome to another Rotor's Flight Tips. This time we're going to talk to you a little bit about rolling circuits. Now, this time uh, I've slowed the simulation speed down a bit so that uh, it makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Kind of like I did with the, the uh, Periflix Chaos uh, video a while back. And now, basically the whole idea is to make them all go round in a circle whilst rolling. Now the way I do this personally is I will, it, I find it easier to roll in the same direction of the circle. So if, like for me, I do left hand rolls mostly because I'm left handed, uh, I do do right hand rolls but not very often. And so that then means that it's easier to do uh, a clockwise, uh, sorry, anti clockwise circle. So what we're going to do is, or what we are doing, is uh, with when the model is the right way up, we're just going to kick in a little bit of left rudder. When the model is in knife edge top in, we're going to kick a little bit of back elevator. And then when the model is inverted, we're going to pick, kick a little bit of right rudder. And then the other knife edge, a little bit of down elevator. And what that does is that slowly kicks the nose of the model round as you're doing the circle. Now, what you probably notice is that the rudder coincides with the collective. So when you're the right way up, you've got positive collective in and you just add a little bit of rudder at the same time. So what you're actually doing is you're just doing, as you're pushing the collective in, you're just going off at a little bit of an angle. So it's the, the collective movement is slightly diagonal, only a small amount. And then the elevator is just one and the other in time with the roll. So as, you, as you're going through the knife edge, you are pushing a little bit of elevator. So it ends up being a nice little rhythm as you're going through the, through the circle. And that's pretty much it. The only thing to watch for is that you keep the attitude of the model the same. So don't let the nose drop because then the speed will, the forward speed will pick up and then you have to use more collective to, uh, to keep the model up and it just gets, it can get quite furious quite quickly. So watch the forward speed and control it. And you do that with how early or late you're moving the elevator. So keep the nose attitude the same. Don't let it go up because you'll slow down. Don't let it go down because you'll speed up. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.